Hello, welcome to this uh, quick introduction webinar by the Faculty of Society and Economics Academic Writing Support of Hochschule Rheinwald. Um, this first webinar will quickly give you a, an introduction on CITAVI, what is it, and a bit run through on how CITAVI looks like. I uh, will show you a little bit of how the website looked like and how useful it is to help you where you can download Citavi. Uh, what else is in the academic writing Moodle that you can find about Citavi that you can't find anywhere else. It's specially created for you here in our university. And then of course, like I said earlier, Citavi interface features. So. Um, what is Citavi? It is a reference management software. It's created by this company, Swiss Academic Software. Um, sadly, uh, they didn't create this software for Mac users. Um, it's only for Microsoft Windows computers. So I, I do, uh, I still find it very useful and I hope you do too. And uh, hopefully in the future, the, the, the software company will create one for Mac users. Um, Citavi, uh, because it's a Swiss company, I guess it's very popular in this region, in Germany, in Austria, and in Switzerland. Um, a lot of the universities do have license uh, and allow students like you um, to use the software yeah, for free. This is a free software. Um, there are limits. Of course, because it's free, uh, you don't, you will not be charged. You just need to provide your university email address. I will show you how it's done. And then um, the downside is if you have a very big project, then um, each project only allows hundred references per project. I know you you might be saying like, oh, I don't think I will have a hundred stuff in my reference list. But you'll be surprised, there are some students who will need more than 100 um, references. So anyway, I'm not going to dwell in that particular issue so much. Let's get on with it. So the Citavi website looks like this. This is an English one. You can very quickly type in, you know, in Google Citavi in English and you will come to this um, first page home page of Citavi, read through it, especially this one, Citavi for students, um, so that you have a clear idea what is this software uh, about and how is it going to help you. And right down here, you can also click on download or click on uh, Citavi free. For our students, you can go straight to academic writing Moodle. Here it is. Um, if you don't know where is the academic writing model, um, all of you do have um, uh, emails address that, and you receive my newsletter on a regular basis. And there you find a link to link yourself to this academic writing model. Look for number two workshop. Um, it's not complete yet because I'm now making the webinars one by one. But here you can go straight to the Citavi software. Before you go, uh, I also like to talk about the Citavi workshop notes. Um, the notes, let me find the notes. The notes are specially made for you for actually our workshops, face-to-face -face workshop. But um, students, you can also download it for you know, later usage. And one thing I like about these notes is they're all very visual and it definitely will help you. So you can download um, the notes right here. So let's go straight to the Citavi software link and I will show you. Here you are. It will bring you to this link, it's particularly for our university and then of course click on student and here you type in your university email not not your personal email but university email and click next 
and then you will download and get this special license for a free Citavi. Okay, let's move on. Um, here is the interface of a Citavi. Yeah. So when you have the Citavi, then when you open the software, this is what it looks like. I have um, three extra project that's going on. This demo uh, project is there for you. Uh, it's already pre-programmed in your software so that you can check out what's going on in there. But I want to show you um, how useful it is, especially for reference lists. Students always say, oh, you know, reference list, there's so many styles. Should I use Harvard style? Should I use APA style? There are many, many styles. Um, and a lot of the teachers or professors say, just pick one. But even picking one, for example, a Harvard style, there are still many, many rules um, where you should put the publishing year, where you should have brackets, where you should have full stop. Should I write of the full name of the authors or should I put initials? So it's very, very complicated. And using the Citavi to make your reference list, it's a godsend. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it's done. I have a project here. It's being opened now. And here you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six reference that I like to put into my reference list. Um, I've worked on it. I make sure the author's names are there. Everything is complete. Yeah. And now I want to make a reference list. So let's open up a file. Okay. And type um, reference list. Mm, let's start with APA's referencing style. Okay. And I have six books. All I need to do is go to citation, making sure that now it is an APA style. And these styles you can just download. There are so many styles out there and it's under Citavi. And I downloaded the ones that we use in our faculty. So, and then you highlight everything and then you copy formatted reference. You don't copy this, but you there's a special um, section here that you can pick and then you go and paste it Ta -da -da. and you can see how nicely done how nicely formatted yeah um, the second line you know they are all indented for you automatically and the punctuation is all there when it's behind a DOI you do not have a punctuation but when it's right after page number, you do have the punctuation and you don't have to worry all about it. It's all being done. So this is APA style. And you can say, oh, what about um, Harvard style? So I'm gonna show you Harvard style now. Harvard. Okay, so I'll go back to the Citavi software interface. Now I need to tell Citavi, I don't want APA style now. I have a Harvard style here. I would like to do Harvard style. So I programmed it. I sometimes double check because I use my mouse and I click too fast and I just make sure it's there. Yes, it's Harvard. Highlight everything, copy formatted reference. And now I have a Harvard style. So of course, maybe the line space of space of lining um, it's a bit off, you can edit it. That's the best part of it. Um, once it's copy and paste here, you can edit. If you don't like the font, if it's, this is a wrong font, yeah, then you can just change the font to Arial Time News, uh, T Times New Roman. And you say, oh, um, nine is a bit too small. I do a 12, just like here. Oh, this is nine, so I want a 12. Um, maybe this one I would also take Times New Roman. And you can say, oh, it's a bit too crowded. Then I can just edit and make sure it looks nice. And there you go. So there you have the Harvard style. And then if you have APA, then 
I'm sorry, ASA, and then ASA style would be, um, they don't usually have the first name in initials. In ASA style, the first names are all spelled out. Yeah, so let's have a look at the ASA style, just to show you. So now this is ASA. I'll go back to the Citavi. Tell Citavi, mm -mm, I don't want APA now or Harvard. I want it an ASA. Copy and paste. Copy and now paste. And you can see right away Yeah, the first names are all spelled out. Just how, just like how ASA likes it. Um, and if you are saying, oh, uh, what about Oxford style? Then I will show you the Oxford style as well. Oxford. All right. Let's move down. Very easy. I choose the citation style, Oxford, copy formatted reference, and you can see it's slightly different. You might say, oh, Elizabeth, look, they're all capitalized here, and they're not. Now, one main thing is if you're following a style from Citavi and you like this style, you stick with it. You don't have to worry about whether it goes... Um, matching with the guidebook that I have. Yeah. There are also many Oxford style as well. But you choose one that you would like to use and stick with it. That's the most important thing. And usually in Oxford style, the publishing years are always at the end. It's never right after the author's name. So Oxford style would follow the Oxford style. So you can say, oh, this is... Uh, Needs to be in 12 times New Roman. There. So there you see you have four different styles, or at least the four that we use um, in our faculty. So um, that's the end of our webinar for this one. Um, there will be five or six webinars. It's a series, and every webinar touches on different things for basic Citavi to help you to use more than just making reference lists. If you're happy with just making reference lists, then that's okay. But if you like um, the Citavi to help you more with your reading, with putting in-text citation and doing quotations, uh, especially direct quotes, then Citavi can also do that. And these will all be shown to you in the series of basic Citavi. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.